Over 12 billion eggs are eaten in the UK every year. But would the British public still like their eggs in the morning if they knew where they really came from? In the first investigation series of its kind ever in the UK, Animal Justice Project is cracking open an industry that's rotten to the core. In early 2023, our undercover investigator infiltrated Sunny Farm, a colony cage egg farm run by Bird Bros, East Anglia's leading egg producer and supplier to major UK supermarkets. What we found inside was far from sunny. Sunny Farm is a mega farm, churning out a staggering 450,000 eggs a day from over 460,000 imprisoned laying hens. They spend their short lives in these enriched cages, marketed as the higher welfare alternative to the now illegal battery cage. Far from rich, each of these barren cages packs in up to 60 hens giving them not much more space than an A4 sheet of paper each. So-called enrichment includes perches and one small nesting and scratching area in each cage, a far cry from their natural lives. 28% of UK eggs still come from hens kept in abysmal cages like these. These eggs will end up on the shelves of Lidl, who say that they are committed to protecting animal welfare. Lidl insists, we work hard to ensure that all animals in our supply chain live a good life. Lidl claims to follow the five freedoms of animal welfare set by the government's Farmed Animal Welfare Committee to support a life worth living. In this secret undercover footage, a worker explains how hundreds of hens recently died of thirst due to neglect. We do the job food because another boy for three weeks don't the one. the chicken. I told you, who is one I think they hardly chicken that. Hens were trapped in the cage mesh, struggling to breathe, trodden on by others. One hen was discarded outside in the snow. Sick and dying birds weren't afforded any help. Instead, this one was callously necked. Although it is legal to kill a bird that weighs up to three kilograms in this heinous way, we consulted an independent veterinarian. After dislocation, the chicken is hung upside down by its legs and flaps its wings repeatedly and tries to raise its head. This probably indicates the persistence of consciousness with associated severe pain and stress. Hens are naturally curious and love to roam, explore, and forage. Packed in sparse metal cages, they are denied the opportunity to carry out their natural behaviors. Hens are treated as little more than objects by workers who can be seen picking them up by the wing, throwing them, and hitting them with shovels. Severe feather loss was seen in many of the hens, often a sign of stress, malnourishment, and disease. Some hens had bare patches of skin, likely caused by feather pecking, a common response to boredom and stress from their cramped conditions. Does this look like a life worth living to you? Our investigator filmed dying hens, hens killed by workers and commonplace suffering. According to the Welfare of Farmed Animals in England regulations of 2007, all hens should be thoroughly inspected by a farm worker at least once a day. This is what these so-called welfare inspections look like. The ultimate goal of the Lion Code is to ensure the highest standards of food safety anywhere in the world. All of Bird Bro's eggs are British Lion standard, which promises the highest standards of food safety anywhere in the world. Yet, we filmed dead hens left in cages to decompose. Dozens were chucked in black bin bags and left in hallways like rubbish. Red mites, seen crawling all over this bag, cause hens irritation, feather loss, and can lead to disease. I was concerned to see significant numbers of chicken carcasses in cages, in some cases apparently decomposing. 
Some had eggs touching them awaiting collection. Bacteria, potentially from carcasses, can pass through eggshells, posing a food poisoning risk to consumers. Certified by British Lion, following the five freedoms, it means nothing to her. Or her. Or her. Or them. This is just the beginning of our expose uncovering the rotten truth about the UK egg industry. You think this is bad? You wait until you see part two.